Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kim. Alright, so quick update. Um, Y'all already know I'm on an all natural challenge for 90 days. And I will be doing a protective style this week. I'm thinking of crochet braiding my hair, which if I do do it, I will try to record it so y'all can see how I crochet braid my hair. Now, it'll be my first time, so don't criticize me, y'all. But, um,. Yeah, this all natural challenge has been going well. I have made quite a stuff that I have not, I haven't recorded just because it was just so easy, or because I really needed it at the moment and I was in a hurry, so I couldn't record it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just um, do a little chit chat. But I will be showing in this video how I made my shea butter cream moisturizer. So, if you want to see how I make that, just keep watching. So first I start off with 100% raw shea butter. If you have more shea butter, you can use it because I really did wish I had more. But um, that's all I had left in the tub. And then I added some honeysuckle oil, just a few drops because that stuff was so fragrant. And I just used it for the fragrance really. Then I added my argan oil. Oh, I added a few drops of neem oil and a little bit of coconut oil. Then that's what it looked like when it was all together. And then I just used my mixer to whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it until it had a very light, fluffy consistency. Like you can see here, it was super, super, super creamy. And um, then, yeah, I just poured it in the container, and that's what it looks like. Y'all, you need to try this stuff. It is amazing. Okay, and then I also made this uh, flaxseed gel. As you can see, like, it's not super thick like your average gel, like... That's like the consistency that it has. It's like, let me try to get it so you can see. It is like thick, but not thick at the same time. It feels amazing, guys, like for real. And um, this was like super, super easy to make, like I swear to you. I just added uh, about a quarter cup of flaxseed, like the whole flaxseed, like a quarter cup. And then I added two cups of water and I just pretty much just let it simmer and it just started to get thick by itself. Started to get thick by itself and then when it got to the consistency that I needed, then I just went ahead and um, turned, the, turned it off. As you can tell, well, you probably can tell there is a there is a thin layer of oil on top because I did add some essential oils after I let it cool. I added some essential oils and I mixed them together and then I just let it sit with the, the cover off. And then I covered it and I keep it on my dresser. And it worked just like a regular gel to me. It's not as heavy of a whole like like the black gel that I used to use back in high school, you know, the gel that gets your hair like rock hard, but then it leaves all those flakes. Yeah, it's not like that gel at all. And um, it's still not even like as good of a hold as like my Eco Styler gel. But since I'm not using any of those store bought products and I needed gel. I went ahead and made this and I must say I do like it. Um, it seems like a lot of naturals use this and it looks amazing on natural hair and then of course there's always the benefit that it's an all natural product so it don't have the chemicals nothing like that and it does give you the whole it gives you nutrients because it is food that you can eat so obviously it has some type of nutri nutritional value and then you're just adding it directly to your hair so I don't see no harm in that so yeah that's it for my gel 
and I'm um, not gonna talk about anything else in this video yes yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you found it useful uh, if you're on this challenge with me, or even if you're not on this challenge, but you're just interested in making some all natural stuff, maybe because it's cost effective, like it is so budget friendly. Like, if you are trying to have a bunch of products and you don't want to fork out the bucks to spend on all these um, various things, then yeah, shit, go ahead and make it. So, if that's your purpose or you really want to, you know, do this all natural thing then just give these a try let me know how you like it if you have any other you know suggestions as to some great all natural diy gels or anything like that then just a link it down below you know share the recipe i'm sure we would all love to know and yeah look out for my pomade video because i am gonna make a pomade with beeswax and coconut oil and i know y'all would like that you know how to get them edges slick with beeswax like i am interested to make that like most of all because i have never even heard of making pomade just at home so i'm super interested to try that so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share it with a friend like and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel so you don't have to miss any of my upcoming videos see you guys in the next one bye